Wonderful afternoon for all of my fellow inhabitants of planet Earth and welcome back to another episode of the David Godu Pro Cyclist. Today's episode marks the end of our Tour de France campaign. If you've missed the previous episodes, then do go watch them because they are rather spectacular. That is uh, how I'm going to, to, to call them. Uh, but yeah, this episode... Final week um, will start with Lyon Grand Colombier, then La Tour de Pin, Villard de Lens, Méri uh, Grenoble Col de la Lose, Méribel La Roche sur Foron, Bourg en Bresse Champagnol, the Time Trial around La Planche des Belfies, and finally, obviously, the usual stage on the Champs Élysées. It's going to be very, very interesting. It's going to be a very tough episode, but I believe that David can potentially do something crazy because. I mean, he's already first. <laughs> he's first at the GC. I know I won't be able to get any help from Thibaut. But, the I don't know. I'm just waiting for David to do a masterclass, as he does, and as he's been doing for the past two weeks on this race. But without further ado, let's jump in. Lyon Grand Colombier is now. Come on, big, big plus four. Big plus four for David. And we're actually going to be able to use Thibaut as a helper. Oh, that's perfect. Right, let's take a look at the GC. The top two is well and truly in our range. Like, we can be on the podium of the Tour de France in our first season with David Godu. And that's huge. Like, that's big. 18 seconds on Bernal. Right, I'm, I'm, I won't lie. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a buffoon. I'm, I'm aware that Bernal will kill me today and on the rest of the tour, but I genuinely believe that we can maintain that podium position with David. And that comes today with a good, good climb on the Grand Colombier. Okay, we've started the Grand Colombier. It is the Team Ineos pacing. I'm going to have to increase my rhythm. I didn't want to do that this early, but it looks like Chris Froome is a bit of a dickhead today. Um... Actually, I mean, last place of the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going we're gonna to have to increase this. Fam, what's happening? Why am I getting dropped like that then? And even Egan is losing a lot of energy right now. Acceleration potentially from Micah? Nope. It's going to be Garen Thomas. Now it's leading the peloton. Uh, Thibaut will soon collapse. Very, very useful today, Thibaut. I uh, will have to admit. Very, very useful. Uh, but it was obviously irony. Who's in the break then? We've got three riders left. Julien Lafilippe is in the lead with Richie Porte and Warren Barguil has died from uh, what used to be a big ass breakaway of I think 20 riders. Okay. Uh, I need to do something so that I can recover energy. Guillaume Martin is going to attack. I do not mind and I do not care. Egan is going to attack. I do care about that. Let's be honest, alright? I do care about an Egan Bernal move. Uh, I'm just gonna going to let Zakarin pace, I guess. I'm going to let him pace on this uh, somewhat flat portion. If Benal is on his own, he's going to use more energy than I will. So that's good. How's Zakarin looking like? He still has energy. When he doesn't, I'll think about taking like matters into my own hand. How about Yates? What are we saying? He's dead. Okay. They're, 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 they're currently, a lot of them are dying. Miguel Lopez has less energy than I do. That's not a good thing. Okay, they're dead. Benal is attacking again. Benal has attacked again. Okay. Should I just like stick a, a steady rhythm? Should I do like a, a liquid 99? Probably shouldn't have done that. Probably should not have done that. 5 kilometers until the end. Bernal is running away. Not only with a potentially a win here, but mainly with the yellow jersey. Okay, we're going to take position be in, behind them lot. Going to try and recover as much as possible with Miguel Angel Lopez pacing. Can see with 55 so I can recover a bit of energy. Yep. Bernal is attacking again. Fucking hell. This man. This man, he's too good. He's too good. 
He's got so much more energy than I do as well. Come on, come on, come on, David, 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 stay in the wheel, stay in the wheels, stay in the wheel, David. Okay. The win will be between Richie Port and Ala Philippe. Okay, we're gonna destroy our energy. And then aerodynamic position. Right, I've collapsed. But it's fine. It's it's alright. I think overall it's not too bad of a day. Bernal does come in third place. He will overtake me. But I will increase my my gap on like the riders behind me for P2. So yeah. Overall it's not a bad day. I didn't expect to keep the jersey. I'll take that. I'll take P6 today. Alright, we've lost 40... No, actually, we're there. We've lost 50 seconds on Bernal. We're now 38 seconds behind the Colombian rider. Up next is uh, La Tour de Pin, Villard de Lens. Should be a breakaway stage. Also, should be a stage that could suit David Godu. It's a climb that would suit me more than like a Bernal, because uh, I'm a better puncher than he is. It's a zero for David. That's not good. That's not good at all. Alright, hopefully we can work with that. Good thing is, Thibaut's got a plus four. That's the only good side today. Come on, I need to make it up. saint dizier du Moucherot. Such a dickhead name as well. It's such a bad name. But we need to we need to make it happen. We need to get that clump going. I would really like if uh, Ineos could stop pacing right now. Like, please, come on, Garange, Chris, please stop. Oh no, Miguel, oh you're a bitch. Oh Miguel, you're a, you're a dickhead. You just are a prick. Uh, I am now in a very bad position. That is not good. Final two kilometers. Miguel Lopez has a lead because of his uh, little stunt, we'll say. Uh, but in the meantime, we are going to catch him. Because Godu and Pino are on the top of their game. P.U. Bilbao is the winner today in Villard de Lens. Ahead of Wurtpools and Mikel Landa. Thibaut is going to be able to launch his sprint. David in the wheel. And despite the zero, it's going to be a decent day for us. It's going to be a very decent day for David. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, we're going to gain five seconds on Bernal. Whoop, whoop. Also, I didn't see it, but it's a one, two, three for Barry McLaren. Looks like they found a replacement to, to, to the great uh, the, the, the great black wall. Nice one, lads. Nice one. GC wise, 33 seconds down as we head to uh, the most French climb ever, Col de la Luz, which for sure will be called Col de la Luz uh, as soon as a French person dies in that, in that climb. Alright, plus two for David. On the slope of the Pima, uh, on the Col de la Luz, the one thing that scares me now, uh, I have lost my fitness peak. So I do believe that any hope of winning this tour is now gone. Uh, unless of a huge, like, huge bad day. But Bernal has a plus three today. I have a plus two. If you do the maths, uh, I'll be fucked. So yeah, well, we won't attempt to win it today. I mean, we will, right, as, as I always do. I always try to win this. But I just don't think it's going to be possible. All right, we're starting the Col de la Luz then. I'm petrified. I'm very scared. Uh, in other words, I, I feel like we're gonna lose. That's an incredible pun. It wasn't even... I mean, it didn't even think about it. Okay, 20k though. 24k on this climb. An average gradient of 7, a max of 20. This is fucking mental. Uh, this is not a climb... Uh, that, I mean, it's a climb that you do not present. Alright. We'll go to 2,300 meters. Well, nearly. 200, 2,030 meters. And uh, Thibaut, you better protect me until well, you die. Because at this rate, I feel like I might even die before you. Uh, yeah, the energy level is critical. Compare Bernal, like, Bernal, right? He's got more than like two thirds. I have less than one. I'm genuinely fucked here. Yeah. I need to take a look about like uh, at someone like Miguel Ray Lopez. Slower than me. Oh, it's higher than me, sorry. Yates, higher. I don't mind like losing a few positions here and there just to make sure that we can recover a bit of energy. Just a tad. Now ah, we'll go 70 again. Roglic is dying, but fair, Roglic is working. 
Like, the, the, Canuck, uh, the Canuck, sorry, no, Yumbo Vesma is not having a good tour at all. Jumla in 14th, Roglic in 17th. Hastaday. Better than me. Zakarin. Better than me. No, that's Zakarin isn't. Zakarin is not better than me. Uh, but yeah, I feel like I'm going to struggle a lot in this final half. Attacks. Attacks at the front. Tadej Pogacar, Miguel Angel Lopez, and Simon Yates. Or Adam Yates. It's fine. I'm not going to chase them, necessarily. I'm going to stick to this rhythm. Try to stay in this group as long as I can. Uh, there goes Simon Yates, completely dying. Alright, we got slow, slow, uh, slightly drop. Is that Zakarin? It is Zakarin. Alright, I do believe that we can come back though, in that group. Or maybe not. But even if I don't come back, the point is that I just need to hold on and not lose too much with David. That's the key part. That's all I need. Right now, the win will be in this breakaway. I feel like I know they're going to to recover energy by like not doing anything. Attack from Bernal. Oh god. Bernal is walking right now with that title. Bernal is walking away with the Tour de France right now. We're well, just going to try and pace to try and come back on them. Uh, but try to play it smartly so that we don't lose too much. Who's in F? Who's that leading? As Bernal and Richard Carapaz. Good. Brilliant. Solid. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Cool, 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 cool. Lopez is trying to make a little move, but he's gone. Okay, we're all dead. Good to know. Good to know. Does that do anything if I do that? I don't know if it does anything. Does that make me like recover more energy if I do that? I do not know. Let's see if we can recover some sort of energy. No, 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 don't go 91, you, you, you dickhead. Why did you go 91 then? What was the point? Yeah, we need to stay with Chris Room though. How much am I going to lose? I'm going to lose about a minute on Lopez. About 17 years on Bernal. Good. Solid. And to no one's surprise, Igan Bernal is the winner at the summit of the Col de Lose, ahead of Richard Carapaz. Miguel Angel Lopez will come in third place, claiming a very nice uh, podium position and maybe a glimpse at a comeback in the GC, uh, potentially getting that third place or at least securing it. Ineos, first, second, fifth, and sixth. I genuinely will be happy with the seventh place with David Goody today. Adam Yates, big loser today, coming home in 13th place, but more than that, Ilnur Zakarin is going to lose more than 5.5 minutes on Egan Bernal, doubling his gap in the GC. Yeah, Ineos is too good, isn't it? So I've lost 3.22, I lose exactly a minute on Miguel André Lopez. Okay, but then again, like, the gap for 4th place is good, it's now Carapaz 4th place, come on. I mean, the podium's there, Bernal has won the Tour de France, up next, Meribel La roche sur forum it's another mountain stage. Let's see if we can do something, but I would not bet on it. Alright, big plus three. Big plus three for David. I'm going to try something today. I'm going to try something. We're going to try and have some panache, some spectacle, some show. Um, we're going to attack in the downhill of the Plateau de Glières. I would have liked to maybe... I, I thought about attacking earlier than that in the Decol des Arabis, but I think I'll just die way too quickly without a teammate in the Glières. So... I'll need Thibaut with me there, and we'll see what happens. But ho hopefully, hopefully we can like, I mean, not get, not win the yellow jersey, right? Fair enough. I c that's not the thing. But get enough time on Lopez that he doesn't become a threat for the time trial. All right, we've started the Plateau de Glières. We have started the Plateau de Glières. It is as as I just mentioned, by far the, the toughest climb uh, in this stage. Uh, we've got Pino riding for us. The aim is to put a strong rhythm, so I'm going to ask Thibaut to accelerate a bit more. Why is Aru killing himself? Like, Tadej is literally 11 minutes down. Don't need to take that kind of rhythm. Um, oh yeah, Pino's pacing. I'm aware that right now it is killing a certain David Godu, but it's, it's... I mean, it's quite sad if I'm going to be honest. Attack from Tadej Pogata. Uh, I'm not going to bother following that. I genuinely don't really care. 
they can do what they want. Uh, Valverde is the first one to drop though. Okay. Okay, 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 cool, 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 cool. Two kilometers. Come on, David. And David? <laughs> Come on, David, and come on, Thibaut. Alright, summit of the Plateau de Gliere. Energy wise, we're not great. Let's be real, we're not looking brilliant. But neither is Bernal. I mean, he's got more than me, that's for sure, but. We could potentially do something in, in a downhill portion. Who knows? And we're going, we're going for the acro. We're gonna go for the acro da downhill. I don't know how it's gonna go. Hopefully, I won't be able to crash. That'd be great. Uh, I mean, it's a good thing that the, the red bar is literally not moving right now. So we're good. All right. My plan failed because uh, Ineos was pacing a lot. And I didn't expect that. Sorry about the time, Steve, by the way. Crash for power, for power and uh, Sivakov, big L. There's one more climb. It's this one. The Col des Fleury. It's a, it's a second cat. All right. It's not going to cause any trouble. It could be a win for Tadej Pogosar today ahead of Nero Quintana. Who knows? But we're going to see if we can disrupt that order by pacing with David Godu from the get-go and Thibaut Pino mainly. Bernal is not going to lose any time. Yates is there. Who's, who was third of the GC? Oh, that was Miguel Lopez, and he's dropped. I'm guessing he's there. He is. Uh, no, I don't, I don't care about Antonio Roux right now. Okay. He's, yeah, he's, he's very low on energy compared to me. Like, low, low. Could I attack? I'm going to attack, like, close to the summit, I think. Mm -mm -mm. Nope. I made a mistake. There we go. Thank you, Thibaut. Very kind. Alright, Thibaut will take the lead. Thibaut is actually going to transcend himself. Go on, boss man. Transcend yourself. One kilometer. We're going to nearly sprint to propel David. Now, there goes David Godu. Come on, no one's going to follow me. No one will follow me. Come on, come on, come on. Allez, David. Acrobatic descent. I should be on my own now until the end. It might be me with, with Tadej, but it's fine. I'd rather be with Tadej Pogotar than with Bernal. Right, let's try to not take any risks. But yeah, let's try to still go get that win at La roche sur -Fourne. It would be good to get at least a win in this episode. We might have officially lost the yellow jersey. But we still have some hope to do, in, to, to do some, some good things for, uh, for FDG. Final 5 kilometers. We have a 13 second lead over the peloton. Still led by the Ineos team of Egan Bernal, the yellow jersey. They are right behind me. I'm just making sure that we don't go into too much trouble here but we should be good on that end you can see Garen Thomas chasing me down like an absolute maniac 1.8 kilometer onto the line we're going to increase our rhythm good 90 one kilometer we're going to start our sprint I was not aware that it was a hill but we should be good to go to go grab a fourth win on this Tour de France David Godu wins at La roche fort ahead of Garen Thomas Thibaut Pinot, nope, Tadej Pogacar, Carapaz, Pinot, Chris Froome, Bernal, Yates, Quintana, and Richie Port. Okay. I mean, it's a win. Right. I, I gain some time on Bernal. Good, but I need to catch him. I need to gain four minutes on, on the time control of the Porsche Belfi if I want to do anything. But mainly, Miguel Andre Lopez loses two minutes today. That's great. I've settled for second place. Oh, we even gained 19 seconds on Bernal. Jeez, go on. <laughs> but yeah, 3.36. Three stages left, two sprints and a time trial. Let's move. All right, plus two today, but it's a sprint stage. Uh, people don't want me to fight for the green jersey, so I guess I'll just... I mean, no, I'm not going to set on in the peloton. I, I know it's not realistic for me to sprint with David Godu, but it just makes it a bit more interesting, I feel like, because if not, genuinely, I could, just skip the, I could just skip the sprint stages. And unless you guys want that, but I don't know. I don't... I, I'm... I like going for the sprints. It's good. It's it's fun. I enjoy it. Uh, what 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 is Ineos doing? Well, I mean, I get that the breakaway is winning, but lads, come, it's not even Ineos. Cause my entire team got caught up in a, in a, like echelons and shit. Jeez, I didn't expect that from the breakaway or from like the AI mainly. I'm surprised there. Twenty k to go. Come on. All right. Six kilometers until the line. Uh, could I follow Holland Vane? 
I can follow Ronewegen. That's great. Energy wise, he's got more than me somehow. I don't know why. Maybe because I've been pacing for 17 decades. Uh, Bernal, yeah, he's good to go. Come on, 5k. Guillaume Boivin is a stage winner on the Tour de France. Mm hmm. Okay, sure, why not? Genuinely, why not? Uh, I mean, could Anthony Roux technically lead me out? He could. Come on. Come on, Anthony. Come on, boss man. I know you've got this in your bag. Alright. He doesn't. He truly does not. 1.3k, we're going to start our sprints. We'll die before everyone else. Uh, we've actually, I, I mean, decided to, to I, I can't English. I cannot English. We, we held on for quite a while, but it's third place for Calibio and eighth place for me. Goodbye, Green Jersey. Alright, turns out we actually did put a minute on some riders. Sadly, no Egan Bernal. Uh, but I think we dropped Miguel Angel Lopez, which is quite funny. Uh, we didn't, so I'm just chatting shit at this point. Did we drop anyone? Like the Yates, for example? I'm not seeing any Yates. Uh, uh, yep, we, we dropped Yates. Hold up, where's Yates? Hold up. Um, there's a group. Oh, no, wait, then that's Simon. No, wait, was it Simon that was good in the GC? No, it was Adam. Where's Adam Yates? I, th I mean, I'm pretty sure he got dropped either way, uh, meaning he did lose his top five as well. Big L. Uh, but yeah, we've got a six minute lead on uh, on um, on Lopez. Lure la planche de Belfi, final mountain stage of the Tour de France. Let's let's finish on a high, shall we? And we're gonna go in one place. We don't even have an improved time trial today. It's just going to be a a boring day at the office. Uh, we'll go at Tifa with David. And basically, don't not do anything. Uh, Pavel Sivakov is currently in the lead at La Planche de la Fille. Thibaut is doing well. Thibaut is doing well. We we stand uh, a uh, a quick Thibaut Pinot. Actually, I go 84 just because I don't have a good time trial stat. Uh, but I'm expecting Egan to literally overtake me during that climb. So yeah, don't expect anything from me today. Second intermediate, Tom Dumoulin in the lead. We are three minutes down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, good. Solid. Good, 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 good. How the fuck am I three minutes down already? <laughs> Jesus Lord. I. It's a, it's a good thing that nobody is dangerous, like, in the GC for me anymore. Because right now, uh, I'm suffering a lot. And as expected, Egan Banal is going to overtake me on the left hand side of the road. Thank you very much, Egan, for being a part of this race. If you could crash on the Champs Elysees, that would be absolutely lovely. Oh, we're gonna die, die. Oh, wow. I might lose like five minutes today. Not kidding. Geraint Thomas is in the lead. Ben Al 113 down. I'm going to lose a lot. Like, I could lose five, six minutes today. Yep, five minutes on Geraint Thomas. Nice. <laughs> Solid. Stonks. Good. Great. My 7.26 down in the GC. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. I lost more time on that time trial alone than on the first 20 stages of this Tour de France. Let's not talk about this performance. Yeah, I, I'm aware I did badly. Didn't manage this as, as, as well as I should have. And we come in 73rd position. But we've got one stage left. It is the almighty Champs-Élysées. So let's get it. It's a zero to round up this Tour de France. Overall, a solid Tour de France. We'll make the the, the recap after the after the stage. But overall, it's been a solid performance for David. Did I really expect to come second at the GC? Genuinely, no. I I really didn't. I I thought I'd have to be racing for Thibaut. We had to in the first week and a half, but I'm I'm happy with what I did. Ben Allen was just on another planet today. Hold up. Thibaut just withdrew from the race. Thibaut just like literally withdrew from the race. Oh no. Oh no. Well, that's not fun, is it? That's just not. That's just not cricket. Oh no. That is heartbreaking. Bixby, I didn't say anything close to your name. Why do you trigger yourself on my phone? I do not know. I'm actually quite sad. No, why am I pacing for them lot? Here or now, I'm going for the sprint win. Because that's what I do. I win. Left-hander 
and we'll start the uh, t last tunnel, the Jordan et Tuileries for the first time, for the final time today. Where's Bernal? Where's Ineos actually? I must have missed him. Oh yeah, he's there. He's there, he's literally in my wheel. He is literally in my wheel. Okay, we're gonna use the gel with everybody, and by that, do you mean me? Come on, 3k. Let's increase the rhythm a bit more. Let's prepare Anthony Roux for his efforts. There goes Anthony Roux now. Oh, Scotland and Brunel can genuinely fuck off. 1.4k. There goes David Godu. We're not gonna win, but it's gonna be a podium position. Third place. Michael Matthews wins on the Champs Elysees ahead of Caleb Ewan. And. David Godu finishing in third place, just ahead of Nasser Boigny, Rudy Barbier, Jasper Philipson, Christophe Laporte, Ron Wigan, Edouard Tens, Ackerman, and Brian Cocard. But the main story of the day, yes, Pinot withdrew, but we have a winner of the Tour de France, and his name is Egan Bernal, back to back Tour de France for the Colombian. Marc Matthews gets Australia its win on the Champs Elysees, it's a 1 2 for the Aussies, ahead of three Frenchmen. Okay, solid. Um, yeah, it was just quicker and the, the, the final uh, 500 meters getting that jump on Caleb, on Caleb, sorry. We came back decent in third place, but then again, we weren't meant to be here. Egan Banal has walked over, uh, across the, the Tour de France, many across the Alps, because we were yellow jersey at the start of the episode, for those who remember that. Uh, I then proceeded to lose seven and a half minutes. But yeah, Ber Banal is a very deserved Tour de France winner. Good in second place, Miguel Lorraine Lopez in third uh, South America with four riders in the top 10. Serge Pauls brings them the Polka Dot jersey to the CCC team. Congratulations. I hadn't seen that, but well done. Uh, nice to see Biniam Gamma in the top 10 as well. That's that's quite cool. Boyne's jersey goes to Caleb Ewan. Undefeated. Too good. Uh, yes, you, there's no other words to describe the performance. Over 100 points ahead of David Godu. It is a very deserved. Green jersey for the leader of Lotto Sudal. We come up as well in second place, as we did on the, the GC. And as we'll do on the, the best rider classification, obviously finishing behind Egan Bernal. Uh, yeah, nothing I could have done on, on that end. Genuinely nothing. And the best team will be the Team Ineos. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. They're good. They're, 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 they're a bit good, them. All right, I mean, you've seen the result. I need to show them. The, just a shame that Pino has to withdraw. Krovac Burman somehow losing two and a half minutes today. I mean, I don't think there were any close GC wise. There weren't. Uh, but yeah, it's a bit weird. Uh, let's take a look at this um, top 10 then. Bernal, 7.22 on May. Then Lopez, Pogacar, Carapaz, Thomas, Yates, Port. Richie Port coming in the top 10. Nice one. Chris Froome, Nero Quintana. Inno Zakarin dropped a lot. He was like five minutes behind at the start of the episode. He's lost 13 minutes. Ala Philippe, Guillaume Martin, Warren Bargill, Tom Dumoulin, Michael Landa, Prio Bilbao, Primus Roglic, Wapples, and Simon Yates. All right, who's the Lanterne Rouge? We've lost three riders. I didn't. I forgot that we had. Uh, did we lost Romain Salin in Denmark, actually? I didn't know that. Last place, Alexis Renard, seven hours and forty-four minutes behind. That's that's a bit mad. That. That's a bit mad. Okay. Well, I mean, overall, it was a very solid tour for me. Now we can take a look at the, rate, uh, the, the my rider data. Uh, we got a stage win in Nice, stage win in La Rance, stage win in Saran, stage win at the Puy-Marie, stage win at La roche -Font. That's five stage wins. A second place in the GC. Multiple top tens. Right? There's only three stages that, four stages, five stages that I haven't finished in the top tw in the top ten. I would have been like a uh, best complete rider or uh, combiné, I think that's how it's called in uh, like Spain. But it's been a solid tour for me. It has, and I think I can be happy with what I did. David would be proud to to see him do, doing well uh, or doing so well. Uh, and yeah, we're now gonna take a big break. We'll I'll I'll do San Sebastian, but then uh, I'll most likely see you for the World Championships. So I guess we've got. Two, two more episodes left. Yeah, two more episodes. That's actually perfect. I've timed everything perfectly. Jesus Christ. I'm too good. Wow. Alright, anyway. Uh, I'm going to stop baffling or waffling. 
it's been a great pleasure doing this entire Tour de France with David Godu. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. Follow me on my social medias. Uh, the links are in the description as well down below. If you're new around here, then please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done that as well. And I shall catch you in the very near future. My name has been Blackwell. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm bleeding. What am all the money feeding? I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bass. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop them out with the duster. Put him in the drip and sip, blockbuster.